Oh, we're going to talk about Ozak 2, Season 2, Netflix primetime TV programme. This is A-list Laura Lindley, Jason Bateman, uh, Janet McTeer, who is the Newcastle actress, along with Julia Gardner. Never heard of Julia Gardner? Let's talk about her first. She plays a hillbilly blonde from the first season. In this season, she goes up another level. And this is one of the most up-and-coming actresses in America. Jewish born, lives in Brooklyn, New York. Plays his heel, Billy, like she was born to play it. Great performance. Haven't been excited about a performance like this for a long time since I watched Thoroughbreds, which is a review on my list of over 40 reviews. And I talked about English actress Olivia Cook. This is how good she's gone. She's gone from that review, which I was raving about in Thoroughbreds, and is now about to star in the £11 million production of Vanity Fair. Tells you everything you need to know. Julia Gardner, the little blonde hillbilly, is up there. She's going to be a big name. Janet McTeer, who plays the uh, cartel's woman in charge of operations with Marty, played by Jason Bateman. And uh, I actually watched all 10 episodes in uh, 48 hours and forgot that she was British. That's how good she is. I mean, this woman's got an A-list of TV programmes like The Governess and films from Hollywood. Really fantastic performance. But Laura Lindley who the actress that you all probably household name, uh, Oscar-nominated, Oscar-winning, BAFTA-winning, um, every award going, she is uh, unbelievable, outstanding in this. The women in this, actually, when you look back on that awful movie from the summer, Ocean's 8, this is a real women's production. This is real women power, because there's four characters in this that are strong. The daughter, you've got Janet Mateer's character, You've got Julia Gardner's character. There's another girl that comes into it. Don't do spoilers, but she was in the first season. And then you've got Laura Lindley. The women run this program. And Jason Bateman, who's always good, is uh, very good in this. He plays underplays his part perfectly. And, of course, he's struggling to get the money out of the cartel to move it in directions where it's not being noticed by the FBI. The main crux of the story is that um, he is dealing with Peter Mullins' character, the Scottish actor, who plays the hillbilly, uh, his wife, Lisa Emery, another strong woman's character, she's outstanding in this, the hillbilly wife, Lisa M. oh my God, she's unreal. Uh, they're moving into their land to build a casino, the first casino ever to be built on this uh, county, and uh, that's the main crux of the story, so it all ducks and dives. What I like about this, this is what makes this an A-list for me, is because it's the same as Games of Thrones, Breaking Bad and Sopranos. Not that they're all great series, but they have something that's important. And this is something I want you to think about when you watch my review. Is that you never know what character is going to survive to the end of that episode. And that makes for great storytelling. Because you honestly don't. You sit there and you go, fuck me, she's in the shit now. And you don't know what's going to happen. It is excellent. I actually thought Narcos was uh, Netflix's best TV series. Not anymore. This excels Narcos. Season 1 of Ozak was a 7 out of 10 moment for me, but I remembered it. I wanted to see it. This is a 9 out of 10, and that's as high as I can go for a TV series. This is unmissable for me. If you miss this, then you're in trouble, really. You should go back and look. Netflix now are the new HBO. I really rate Netflix. They are coming out with some fantastic productions, and I take my hat off to them. They're up there with the BBCs and uh, the ABCs, the American uh, Naval Cable Network, they really are making A-list productions, and this is one of their best. This will definitely get nominated for awards. The last season did. I think it won a couple of small awards. This one will win some big awards. I really predict big things with this. So don't miss it. Nine out of ten. I'm moving on to uh, Jack Ryan, Amazon's new production. I ain't going to do that in literally... 48 hours but I've heard good stories about it I've heard it's been very well made so I shall have a look I'm very impressed with the bodyguard which I recommended to you all and I know that starts again tonight I won't be watching Vanity Fair because I have uh, an opinion about productions I want to see something new I get angry with Hollywood if you've never seen any of my reviews there's too much crap being remade let's make something new let's get new directors in and let's get it all moving i just want to mention the soundtrack on this the soundtrack on this series whoever put it together and i hope you're listening excellent editing out of this world uh direction very fast paced two good directors all the way through this the thing i have a problem with sometimes is the darkness in certain close-up shots in cars and around the uh, houses that does make me angry but you know what it's petty and it's just a full-on production so don't miss it 
9 out of 10. Uh, I've had a good week so far, I've seen some great production, so I've done a lot of blogs. If you've never looked at any of my blogs before, have a look, subscribe, share, and just say you like them. Uh, I tell the honest truth, I don't bullshit. If I don't like something, go back and look at my other reviews and you'll know I don't like it. Have a great week and I hope I catch up with something else good this week and all the best.